This is Anthem. Once upon a time, every single gaming journalist on the face of the planet would have had you believe that this game was the next big thing. The looter shooter multiplayer social MMORPG light that was going to have you teaming up with friends to battle giant monsters, to take on various open world quests, to gather all sorts of weapons, all sorts of armor, and to mix and match your different abilities to have some truly awe-inspiring moments in this open world phantasmagorical planet that was created with a single player from the masterminds behind the games like Mass Effect and Dragon Age. Truly, Anthem was meant to be the next step for the looter shooter franchise. In a market that's completely dominated by two games, aka Destiny and Warframe, it's been desperately needed for another game to have come along that could not only rival these games, but that could even possibly surpass them. And it really did seem like Anthem kinda had everything going for it. An absolutely stellar E3 reveal that ended up getting everybody on the hype train and everybody wanting Anthem to be the next big thing, but then... Well, it didn't happen. Can Anthem ever be the Destiny killer? Can it be the Warframe killer? Is it meant to be the next big thing for the looter shooter MMO RPG light genre? Are we ever going to see the promises that were made by EA and Bioware ever come to fruition? I want to talk about that a little bit in this video because I do truly believe that I have a little bit of a different opinion than most people do when it comes to Anthem. See, the average person when it comes to Anthem kind of falls into two schools of thought when it comes to this game. Either one, they vehemently hate it and they essentially say, screw it, Bioware and EA misled us, I bought a product that barely worked for the first time that it was out and it took so long for us to get any meaningful content that by the time that it came out, I didn't really give a shit about the game anymore and it's been sitting in my uninstall pile for quite a while. Or you fall on the other side of the coin, which is people who say, yes, Anthem has a ton of flaws. Yes, Anthem is not what we promised it would be. Yes, Anthem really had no meaningful end game. But because of the fact that it was such a unique open world and because of the fact that the gameplay was so unlike anything else that was in the genre or really in gaming at the time, I have a lot of fun with it. I mean, after all, jumping up in the air like Iron Man and flying around and having these crazy cool powers and coming up with these really cool things where it was, it was literally like a mix between Destiny and like Iron Man. It was really, really cool and it's really, really unique. And so a lot of people fell on that side of the coin as well where the uniqueness factor of it enough made up for the lack of content and for the broken promises on part of EA and Bioware. See, I fall somewhere in the middle when it comes to Anthem. I don't f find myself in the camp of people that say... Anthem will never be a Destiny killer, but I also don't find myself in the group of people that says that Anthem already was a Destiny killer and that nobody just gave it a fair chance. Because let's be honest, the game still lacks quite a bit of content. Even jumping into the game nowadays, the game is pretty bare bones. There's some things to do and there's some things to tackle, but unless you have like two to three other friends who already play Anthem a fair amount, Getting into Anthem is kind of like giving yourself a peanut butter sandwich where you only put peanut butter on half of it and then you eat the half without the peanut butter first to kind of eventually gear yourself up to giving yourself a nice little surprise because you get to eat something kind of good tasting. Anthem is essentially a half-baked lie. It tries to convince you that there's something there for you to go find and it teases you with this idea of content down the road. But for the first like 20 to 30 hours that you play the game, there's so much fetch questing and there's so much grinding that by the time that you get to the point where you get that delectable content, you kind of just go, wow, I don't really give a shit anymore. That's kind of where I find myself when it comes to Anthem. And where I'm going with this is that I do truly believe that if Bioware would follow through on the promises that they made a couple of years ago in overhauling Anthem, I do truly believe that Anthem can be a Destiny rival, but maybe not in terms of what people think when they think a Destiny rival or when they think, you know, a Destiny killer. Because most people hear that and they assume that it means, oh, well, the game will essentially have to beat it on all fronts. The thing is, Destiny has such a massive ingrown and like entrenched community that they're not really going to jump ship and all go immediately to Anthem if it followed through on its promise and it completely overhauled, right? Like that wouldn't really happen. But if they did enough of the overhauling that they promised, if they gave us more of the content and more of these weapons and more of this end game, enough people would jump ship from other games like Borderlands and from Destiny and from Warframe. Enough people would jump from those games that Anthem would thrive. It may not thrive to the level that Bioware and EA wanted it to as a new IP, 
or financially, but it would thrive enough that they could probably justify a sequel down the road, even if it would be one of those cases where people would be extremely hesitant to invest and pre-order a sequel based on what happened with the first game. So where am I going with this? Well, recently I read an article from Forbes where the editor talked about how he found it weird that we're in 2021 and it's been pretty much radio silent on Anthem's overhaul. We, they've lost quite a few people. They lost the lead art director, they lost the lead story writer, and they lost the lead director. Bioware's not really in a fantastic place. They are riding on a little bit of fan hype because they recently gave us a trailer for an upcoming Mass Effect sequel that actually takes place in the Commander Shepard storyline and not this stupid Andromeda bullshit. And they also dropped us a trailer for the upcoming Dragon Age game, which a lot of people are very excited for because even though it had a lot of technical issues, Dragon Age Inquisition is still a fantastic game. At least in my opinion, it's one of my favorite games of all time, including Dragon Age Origins, which is also one of my favorite games of all time. Same with Mass Effect 2. Now the thing is, with the promises that Bioware made to make to Anthem, with the promises made to overhaul this game, I do truly actually believe that if it happens, they stand a legitimate chance of turning Anthem into a franchise. When you go through the blog post over um, that was kind of going over what exactly they were planning to overhaul in the game, it's really hard to not read it and not get excited for it. Or rather, it's very hard to read it and not get excited. That's what I meant to say. I mean, it's been a long day. Because they detail literally everything that people had problems with and came up with a solution for it. Now, to be fair, they do state in the blog post that they really didn't have a timeline on when this was going to be completed because it was a lot of work to get into. And I do believe that. I do believe that overhauling Anthem is a difficult thing to do considering the already incredibly troubled history that Anthem has had. But with that being said, where do we stand today? The truth of the matter is the Forbes article is telling the truth. We've heard nothing from the game. You go over to Reddit, nothing. You go to their blogs, nothing. You go to the official website, nothing. EA, nothing. Twitter, nothing. Instagram, nothing. So what exactly are they waiting for? A lot of people are making the argument that it's because EA officially considers Anthem to be a lost cause. That they did officially hit a point where they said, you know what? Keep the servers online because it's a cheap service to run. Come out with the occasional patch to keep people, what few people are playing happy. But outside of that, you know, fuck it, we're done. Pull the plug, let's just, let's just end this shit. And it's hard to blame them. Like, let's, let's be honest, it, it would be very difficult to not take EA's side in this. Anthem was pretty much DOA. There are still a few thousand people that are enjoying the game and that are still kind of like grinding through it. I'm not really sure what for, because there's not much to grind out. I personally do not believe that EA considers it a dead game. I do actually believe the overhaul is coming, but I do feel that we are getting dangerously close to the timeline wherein when the overhaul happens, it's going to be too late. Warframe is really getting some steam underneath it. The complete overhauls, the like newly reinfor the reinforced focus on like open world, massive new loot pool extensions, and then you look at Destiny, where we just got Beyond Light. We're starting to get teases for the Witch Queen, which is going to be another massive expansion. We're getting a couple of seasons before that. We're finally getting a lot of story threads coming through. We're getting more loot. We're getting more locations. We're getting more subclasses. The competition against Anthem will do nothing but increase over time. And it's going to do nothing but get more difficult for them to ever make any progress on it. They're essentially sitting on a gold mine of an IP. Like I said, Anthem really can be the next big thing. It really can. I know that people probably don't want to believe that either. I'm, and I mean, take it from, just take it from this perspective. If you've watched any of our other content, especially some of our older content, or if you've checked us out on Twitch, shameless plug inserted here, you would know that we're both pretty big Destiny fans, Shane and myself. Arguably me a little bit more than Shane because I'm truly a big Destiny nerd. I have all the grimoire books. I read into the lore. I'm an extensive collector in the game, blah, blah, blah. I would legitimately like for there to be another game like Destiny that when I'm just kind of tired of Destiny, I can go play something else where I feel like I'm getting the same kind of reward out of it because I love that style of gameplay. I love that style of game. But it's just feeling like Anthem is getting too dangerously close to that point where it's getting really hard to keep justifying EA's motives for it. So 
I don't know though. I would like to know what other people are thinking about it because I know Anthem is a topic that people feel, like I said, one way or the other about it. There's not really a whole lot of middle of the road people like myself. And I'd be really curious to see what people are thinking of it. Are you still enjoying the game? Are you one of the few people still playing it? Do you hate it? Are you refusing to go back? Or are you giving it another chance now that EA Play is on Game Pass? Let me know what you think. I would actually like to hear from you and if you think that Anthem can ever be that next big game, if it really can be a Destiny killer. I would like to know. So leave me a comment down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will talk to you next time.